Well, I just have to turn on the microphone and focus and stuff. You just said that. <laughs> but thank you for announcing that as the first one here. Yeah. Well, I just did that so you can say that. that <laughs> I'm kind of ready. Yeah. So we start open comments and we'll have questions. Yeah, um, got back to practice today uh, on this past weekend. Tough loss for our football team. Uh, kudos to Alabama State. You know, they came in here, uh, kicked our butt, scored a couple points late. Um, as a football team, we can't turn the football over and expect to win. Um, we got to be better. But um, very pleased with the energy our football team came out with today. We got to put that one behind us and um, get ready for a, a valid team that put up some points this past weekend. So I'm looking forward to going up to Ida being and, uh, you know, competing against Coach Wade. Coach, how is the team reacting to the news uh, with Jalen? Did any of the guys, you know, know him personally? Uh, no, I think a couple of guys do, but um, everybody's kind of good to go. We understand it, praying for the family, and, you know, and just moving forward. With uh, Mississippi Valley this week, obviously it's an in-state little rivalry going mm -hmm. on. Um, but yeah, with, with, what did you see maybe when you're starting to review film and look at them from last week, kind of they showed out? Well, um, they playing hard. They play hard all year. You know, the teams that they've been going up against, they've been right there fighting with them. They fight for four quarters. Uh, they got a coach that they believe in, um, that I uh, have a great relationship with, and Coach Wade. And, you know, they're going to compete for the entire football game. You know, and that was a big win for them. They got a lot of momentum now. I got to get this football team ready to play coming off a loss and get us back up and you know that's what we talked about today getting out there and practice with the energy level up and let's get back to executing and you know doing what we do i know we talk all the time now about you being an alum from here and everything but in this case also kendrick wade's an alum from in his first year yeah right? so um mm -hmm. like how, how cool is that and what does it say about the swag that you know they are hiring and pulling yeah. from people who have come from their institution well they they you know uh, myself and coach wade we get it you know, we understand the responsibility of it, you know, playing in it, growing up in it. We get it. You know, we try to uh, make sure that gets to our players, the coaching staff and the people around us. And, you know, we take a lot of pride in, you know, coaching at the school that we are alums at. Do you have an update on uh, Irv Self? Uh, we're still waiting to see. He's in a boot right now, though. He's in a boot. Um, we'll continue to evaluate this week. He's in good spirits, but uh, he didn't practice today. We'll see how it goes the rest of the week. Official attendance numbers came out for homecoming, and some people thought that it, the stadium seemed like there was a bit more people there. Just kind of, what would you see with the crowd uh, for homecoming? Oh, to me, it's from down on the field. It looked like they was in there. You know, when we pulled up to the stadium and did the Tiger Walk, big crowd at the tailgate and everything. Uh, coming out the pregame, it was you know people butts in seats at that point. And then you come out and run out of the tunnel. You know, the energy was there. You know, they did their part. They showed up and showed out. And does uh, Coach Wade reached out to you just about? Um, as for, you know, getting this job with NDSU, just any advice? Uh, yeah, uh, we, we text every week. As a matter of fact, he hit me this morning, sent condolences, you know, to the young man and everything and asked if anything he could do, you know, um, just let him know. He invited me up to his uh, football camp this summer. I hung out with them and same, and I did vice versa. He came down here. And uh, we're two first-year head coaches, you know, trying to get programs going in the right direction. Uh, I think we're going to have the future is bright for both programs and, you know, continue to be good friends. Coach, can you talk about um, your quarterback, Jason Brown, what you saw in him to make him a starting quarterback and progress this season, his overall, your overall analysis of him? Mm -hmm. Well, Jason played a lot of football and seen a lot, you know, playing in the SEC and been at, at some other couple other places. Uh, some leadership, you know, he's an older guy. We got quite a few new guys out there and some younger guys, but um, very pleased where he at with this point. He's been doing what we asked him to do week in, week out, uh, not really turning the football over. So. Um, Coach Quinn, you know, the quarterback's coach has done a good job with him. You know, he, Jason is a student of the game. He loves the game of football. He loves his team. So I'm very proud of him. What do you think is the biggest challenge going to be against NDSU? Uh, just continue to understand, you know, it's tough to win games on the road. You know, we got to, you know, load up on uh, Friday. Uh, we'll go stay at the hotel here and then load up Saturday morning and go up to Itabina. It's a little different up there in the Delta. A lot of these guys never seen the Delta. This will be their first time. But uh, it's something we've been doing all year, you know, and they get the assignment. Uh, we'll prepare well this week. Like I said, I was very pleased, you know, the way they came out of today and approached practice. You know, they was flying around, and we got to continue that through this week and just go up there and um, play our best football, you know, not turn it over, continue to play good defense, and, you know, continue to build on our special teams. Coach, can you talk about Noel and his, his status? Noel. The, the kicker, the punter. Sorry, your punter. Oh, Matt Noel. Matt Noel. Yeah, yeah I mean, he, he – 
pushed through that game. His quad kind of tweaked on the first. I think he got hit a little bit on that, but he found a way to push through to that last time we had to send Dylan out there to let him punt. Um, but he's moving around better. Uh, I just hollered at him when, before I come up in here, but uh, he's still in good spirit. You know, he'll, um, we'll put him back out there this week if he's ready to go. Any chance you might use Armenta on her status? We'll see. You know, like I said, too, with her just getting back into it the last couple of weeks, she's experienced some, some, some soreness as well. So I, I just don't want to get her out there and get her hurt just like any other player. But uh, we'll see. Continue to evaluate her. What do you work on at practice to, uh, you know, limit those turnovers? Like you said, it was kind of the key factor. In yeah. Is there, is there something that you actually do or is it more just like, hey, guys, let's like be more mental about it? Um, we do ball security drill. We got ball security circuit that we do each and every day. You know, and that, that, that's something that we preach from day one when we took, uh, started training camp. But we've been doing that since day one, um, going out there on the football field. Coach Mo had those guys working the ball security drill. So a total of about three circuits in that drill. And um, it, it's just a tough deal. You know, we're driving the football all three times, moving good. With I think the one after the half, we got a 90-yard drive going, you know, and uh, put it on the ground. But um, we got to continue to stress it. You know, you, can, you see it's the difference in football games. Um, so we just got to continue to stress to these guys and understand that that's what defenses are taught to do. As the weather starts to get a little bit colder, I know it doesn't really get cold, cold down here, but does that change the way you guys prepare? Or, or no, nah, it's football weather. You know, football is played in the cold. That's what I'm used to. The thing is what's been different, like the last couple of years, it's been hot through December. And I think that's the adjustment. How do you play in the heat? But we use, we're not worried about the weather, whether it's raining, snow, whatever. We got to go out there and execute. Coach, do you have a fondest memory of playing against Valley or like an experience of being in Italy? Yeah, I mean, I think my last year uh, we went up there and played and we hadn't went to Valley for a while. That was the first time we went back to Valley and it was a fight. <laughs> That's what I do remember. It was a brawl out there. Uh, I think they jumped up on us 21 nothing, you know, and we was able to come back and, you know, win that football game. But just the energy level, the huge crowd and, you know, that fight, that's what stands out my last year here at Jackson State as a player. Coach, can you talk about December 11, 2022? Um, you hand um, A.D. Robinson a folder and you also hand uh, interim president Hudson a folder. Did you realize then that you were going to be interviewing for this job? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what it was all about. Just going in there, um, just putting together a plan and letting them know what's the plan going forward. You know, how do I see this football uh, team being built? You know, how did I want this coaching staff to look, the people around me, the team from top to bottom? So it was all part of the process. How did you feel like you did when, you know, before they gave you the donuts? Say, the sweet rolls. Oh, the, the, the rolls. I, I, I mean, I, like I told you, um, um, I was prepared. You know, when they told me that that was going to be the case, I was prepared for the moment. Everything was done. You know, I had my book list and everything ready to go. And it's all about being prepared for those type of moments. You know, and I think I did a heck of a job of it. Any more questions? All right, Coach, thanks for your time. All right, cool. Thank you. All right, thank you, guys.